to everybody. Um, yes, I went to the valley about in March, and Belinda and Kitty were lady that actually knew Mother Nadia and the boys when they were little in Hebron. She was their neighbor, and she used to play with them. And it was awesome to hear the stories that she told. One of the stories that she told uh, was that uh, one day Mama Nadia came out of the house running, saying, "Se me acabó el mundo, se me acabó el mundo," and that lady says, "Por qué me qué pasa? What's going on?" She says, well, the school where my kids are going are going to do a play, and my kids have to dress in a white uniform, and they don't, I don't have any money to make them a uniform. And the neighbor says, well, don't worry. I'll make them a, a uniform. So she got some sugar sacks, because sugar used to come in sacks, white and white cloth, and she made them a little uniform. And I think it was two or three. No sé si Gustavo, if he was one of the children that got to participate. Se acuerdan de esa historia cuando le hicieron trajecitos blancos de sacos de azúcar la... La vecina, porque, iba, porque, porque estaban yendo a la escuela y iban a hacer un drama del 5 de mayo. I, I know, it is, parece que eran Romeo y Amadeo. Anyway, and so, the, and so they got to, to beat in that play, and so um, this lady says that uh, she always used to like to play with the boys because I think she liked them and they wouldn't flirt with her because they were muy respetuosos, very respectful, my uncles. <laughs> <laughs> and my mother and Emilia were always busy. She said she admired them because they were only 11 and 12, and they used to make tortillas and things for the whole family. So this is the way they grew up. And then uh, something happened there, and they ended up having to go to another place to live. And they ended up living in a tent for six months. Tío Gustavo, vieron una carpa. ¿Dónde está Tío Gustavo? En Zapata, ¿verdad? En Zapata, por seis meses, una carpa. And then from there, they, they went to the Piscas down in Rio Hondo and Santa Rosa and in Edinburgh. But they had a real tough life. They're like, Papa Osevi was the cook for this cattle ranch, and so he was having to move following the cattle. So wherever he went, there went the whole family, and another baby was being born. And everywhere that they lived was not a house. It was just these barns with dirt floors. And I remember my mother telling me that um, she never knew what it was to, to live in a house when they were little. Because it was only dirt floors, no furniture, no curtains, no flowers, no picture frames, nothing that makes a house a home. And, and when she went to Hebron, she realized that other people lived differently from them. And so then she said that she began to uh, take it upon herself to organize the family. And she would have a little box for each one of her brothers. And she would put their clothes in each one of their boxes. And so she began to kind of organize the family because Mama Virginia always called herself Inuti which I don't believe because she was a moral woman. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. When she was here at our house fixing to die, uh, she said that she had a vision from the Lord and uh, he told her, as a mother, you have honored me. Amen. Because I don't know how she did it, but she raised these, these kids in uh, the depression time um, with godly fear, even though they didn't know the Lord at that time, the seeds of the gospel were being planted into their life by that neighbor. But uh, she didn't know very much about the Lord, but yet they were very a very moral family. And the, the kids never drank, they never smoked, they never got involved with games, in spite of the fact that they were so poor. And so uh, she did honor the Lord with her life by being that, that moral mother for her children. And so uh, I don't believe that she was Inuti. I don't believe that... Uh, she called herself a useless because she couldn't keep up with the housework. And her, her strength wasn't there. She, she didn't have an organized mind to do that, but my mother did. So my mother helped her in, in that respect. And so, you know, that's the way uh, they were raised when they were little kids. And I, I, I uh, thank God so much because look at the fruit of, of those six kids that survived. You know, they, they had other children that died when they were born. Can you imagine, you know, having twins three times and one of them would die each time and each time that another one would die you know all the little brothers and sisters would have to live through that death again so it was a very sad childhood but in spite of that God raised them up to be men and women of God that they are today and here we are three generations later four generations later and we're all serving the Lord which is amazing to me that what God has done from those humble beginnings so that was the story that touched my heart so much when I, when I, when I heard it from the, this lady that lives there in, in the valley. She's uh, 82 years old.
I think she's about Theo's Ella's age, something like that. He says, no, he's younger. Okay, you're younger. <laughs> but she remembers vividly how they, how they used to live um, there in Hebron did. Okay, God bless you. Okay, now please don't touch this. We're going to 
to answer a question. I'm not asking a question yet, so you cannot answer the bell. Please, 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 please. Obey the rules, okay? Here we go. Now, we have surveyed 100 people. 100. We have surveyed 100 people, and the top answers on the board, I'm going to ask you a question. If you think you know the answer to the question, you jingle the bell. Once you jingle it, there is nothing funny about the game just explaining the rules. Okay. Now, if you... Yes, jingle the bell because that's what it is. Okay? Now, if you know the answer, you jingle the bell. The judge will determine who jingled the bell first. If you jingle the bell first, you will get an opportunity to answer the question. If you come up with the number one answer on the board, your team will get the opportunity to pass or play. If you do not get the number one answer or you get an X, the other person here at the face off will get a chance to answer the question as well. Do you understand? Okay, let's go. Here we go. You're ready to play some very All right. Name a something that a person has a harder time remembering as they get older. Their age, that's a good answer, good answer, good answer. They don't remember their age, this is on their age. People's ages, that's a good one. Great, great. You have a chance because the number one answer is still on the board. Maybe you can take a guess and see if it's up there. Go ahead. Someone's name. People's names. People's names are pretty good answer. That's right. People's names. Because your team got the number one answer, your team will have the opportunity to either pass or play. You can decide you want to play. Now here, listen. If you play, you will try to come up with all of the answers that are on the board. If you do not get all, you will have three X's. If you get three answers wrong, the next team will get a chance to at least make one. If they make one, they get all the points for this game. The first team to get to 300 points will win the game. Play? Are you going to play? Pass or play? They're going to play! No lines. I will randomly go around and pick somebody to answer the next question. So you can be on your toes. On your toes, you know what I'm saying? You can sit down there, sir. You don't need to stand up no more. Okay, here we go. Let me sit here. Go ahead and stand up. I'm going to ask you a question. I would like for you to kind of tell everybody what, where you're from, your family's name, introduce anybody that's here. My name is Josh, and I'm married to the most beautiful woman in the world, and... That's a lie right there! <laughs> I would tell you, my wife is Puerto Rican, and she's the most beautiful thing. She will not make lies. Let's go to the next person. I'm just kidding. I'll let you sign. Second best. Okay, go ahead. What's the answer? Name something that a person has a harder time remembering as they get older. Telephone number. Telephone number. That's a good answer. Good answer. Now remember, you cannot help each other. Okay, let's keep it individual. You can say good answer, but at the end, when it's y'all's turn, y'all will get a chance to come together and come up with an answer. Okay? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. He said people's phone numbers. Is it out there? Phone numbers. Very good. Hey. Let's go around. Let's go. How about you? How about you, sir? Maybe you can stand to your feet and so you know who you are. Maybe, maybe what you do for a living, or something like that. This is a good answer for you because I think you're getting older too, huh? I forgot the question. <laughs> Name a something that a person has a harder time remembering as they get older. Sometimes I go to a room and I don't know why I went to the room. I don't know how to make that to one word though. <laughs> Simon. He forgets where he sat. Okay, he loses, he forgets his location, something like that. Do we have anything like that on the board? Oh. Somebody stand up, 
I'm certain. <laughs> Tell everybody your name. You're a good-looking young man, but you're getting older too, huh? Very old. Okay. Name, name a something that a person has a hard time remembering. Is it? Uh, no. <laughs> I forgot where I left my keys. Maybe the keys. Maybe you left some of the keys. You forgot where the keys are. Let's see the keys. Where they put stuff. Where they put stuff. Wow, that's a good answer. Good answer. Still got three answers on the board. How about you, sir? Stand. Okay. Name something that a person has a harder time remembering and they get older. Directions. How about directions? Okay. Now it's the time to whisper, to come together, and come up with a good answer. Okay. Okay. Don't tell them because if you tell them and they get it, you two understand, huh? Are you building the wind or you building the man? Come on, stand, stand. Don't be shy. You look like a man that you never forget anything. Is that true? <laughs> Do you remember? Okay. I remember when I met my wife. The very first time I met my wife was in February the 1st in 1970. I love you. Name us something that a person had a hard time remembering as they go. Anniversary's uh, birthday. Here we go. Let's see. How about you, sir? Once you stand, come on, come on, come on. We've got to get the game going. Jesse, uh, name something that a person has with long hair. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem like you're a part of it. You married him? You're in? I'm married him. Yes. It's 11 for Spurs. Hey, 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 hey. We will watch the game later, I promise you. Okay, uh. <laughs> Places where I was going to go to. Yeah, going to go. A place, a place that was going to go to go. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now it's the turn for the girls to steal. We need an answer. We need an answer. Who would be the spokesperson? With... Do we have an answer? Okay. I'm going to ask you because you want to face off. What is your answer for your? Their medication. Their medication. Yeah. If, it's, if, if it is up there, you will steal the points. If not, the men's team will win all the points. Medicine. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. What is number four? The pass. Let's see. Number seven. It's already done, Tony. Come on, Tony. Here we go. I'm going to ask you a question. Top six answers, sir, on the board. Name a place where a mom might go when she says, I need peace and quiet. Can you go to the bell? Where will she go? To the mall? To the mall! Because we know that the mall is very peaceful and quiet. Listen, listen. You are not a woman. And you must not be listening very good to your wife. Because see, the mall. Where will a woman go when she needs peace and quiet? The bathtub, let's see. The bathtub. Are you going to pass or play? Would you like to play or pass? They're going to play. Here we go. Here we go. You can stand. You can stand. Tell us.
pronounce your name? Are you Puerto Rican? She looks Puerto Rican. But your name is Nancy. You said Alma, right? <laughs> name a place where a mom might go when she says any piece of art. This, the mayor of your place, maybe the spa, something like that. Okay, let's see the spa.
know, because I called you for quote because I saw you guys who were looking at each other. There's a little love in the air. Are you guys related? Are you guys are related? Okay. Okay. My first wife. Your first wife. <laughs> but she said you're her second husband. <laughs> Now, this, this question has four answers on the board, and they are doubly points. Woo! When attending a family reunion, what do you do when someone greets you and you're sure that you have never met them before? I will repeat it if you want me to repeat it. But if you want to go ahead and answer, you can take a shot at the answer right now. But you've got to ring your bell, please. Do you want me to repeat it? When attending a family reunion, what do you do when someone greets and you're sure you've never met them? Ask them their name. That's a good answer, huh? Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Ask them their name. Ooh. Would you like to pass a play? Hey. They, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Thank you. You have a chance to have a, an answer better than that one. You hug them. Hug them. Because let me tell you something, that is not awkward at all, huh? What you doing? How you doing? Give me a hug. So nice, huh? Your name? Um, when attending a family reunion, what do you do when someone greets you and you're sure you've never met them? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Introduce yeah. yourself. How about that? Huh? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Have you, met, have you seen anybody here that maybe you, you're sure you've met them but you don't remember them? Has that happened? Yeah. Shame, 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 shame. <laughs> That's why everybody needs to go home and study the family directory, huh? <laughs> that for you because I know that that was a lot of hard work, huh? <laughs> Ask them. <laughs> introduce yourself. But you know what? It was close. <laughs> Go ahead, stand up. Oh, do you know? <laughs> Your name, please. Mary Lou Gutierrez, I'm from Madeo's uh, family, Marcos Lucio. Look at their tag. Look at their tag. Their name tag. Look at their name tag. Do you guys have a chance to steal right now? Do you guys have a chance to steal? Anybody want to give it a shot, huh? Go ahead, stand. Go. Smile and walk. Just smile, huh? Just smile. Just smile. Just smile. You still have an opportunity, basically, okay? But she already answered. I gave it to her. Shake their hand. I need an answer. You, you got about 20 seconds, huh? Okay, 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 listen, listen. When attending a family reunion, what do you do when someone greets you and you're sure you've never met them? Fake it. Fake it. Fake it. Fake it. Fake it. Fake it. Pretend. Pretend. You guys are mean. <laughs> Hey, let me ask you, sir. Have you faked it here already? <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Fake it. Yay! Yay! Yes, team has won the ball. Let me see number one. Say hello.
How about you? Superman. Come on, come on, come on. And about a... Come, come, come on. Come on. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Do you know what? No. There is seven answers on the board. Do you? Seven answers. Name a place that kids, the little children, they beg their parents to take them. Okay, but you cannot answer before you read the that. That's, that's okay. I will let it go this time. To the park. To the park. To the park. Let's see the park. That is the number one answer. Your team can either pass or play. 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 Go to play. Come, come, come. Here we go. I'm going to go around pretty quickly, okay? Here we go. Name a, name a place that kids beg their parents to take them. You cannot help. Okay. To the amusement park. To Grandma's house. To Grandma's house! Yeah. Abuela, abuela, oh abuela, oh tía, abuela, no, it's not there. <laughs> you don't want to Me! Hi, hey, take me to Madonna's. Do you know, like, the singer of Madonna's? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's going to play very quickly for some of you, okay. To Madonna's, a restaurant. <laughs> For the toy store, you have a chance to steal the points. Get ready. Do you understand? We haven't done you yet. Please stand, 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 stand. <laughs> There's a lot of connection between them again. Okay. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Uh, to the beach. To the beach. Yeah. To the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, zoo. To the zoo. You guys are either going to get this answer or they will get the chance to steal the points. She passes the baby and says, your turn. 
Bur bourbon. 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 Bourbon.
Thank you. Na name was something that a first name uh, something that a couple of them does. What's the kiss that we got? Remodel the house. Remodel the house. Let me see it. Stand, please, please. Tell us who you are. Sarah Lindsay, my parents are Gracie and Tony. But you gotta teach these girls how to do it the right way because they don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna guess get a pet. Get oh, a pet, I maybe a horse, huh? <laughs> because you never know. Get a horse! <laughs> Guys, get ready. Get ready. Get ready, get ready. Okay, because you need to tell me, tell everybody a little bit about your family, we want to know. Tell, come on. Okay, you're with the young man. Okay, Lily's daughter and five kids. Who's your husband? And James, my husband, we have five kids. So let me, let me ask a question. Are you looking for her to do anything when she gets her moved out? Tell him, tell him, tell him. Yes. Okay, now I need an answer. Um, buy a new car? Let me see. Buy a car! Do you guys have a chance to steal? Let's come together. Let's be a team, huh? Be a team. Are you going to be a team player or not? Hey, it's up She didn't say it. She didn't say it. She didn't say it. She didn't say it. It's up the board. It's up the board. It's up the board. All right. Okay. We're going to go ahead and say six. Okay, okay. That's all here. I just, just want to say something, okay? One thing. Get out. Okay. They want to get jiggy with it, huh? That's my money. Okay, let me see number four. Retire. Let me see number six. Throw a party! Throw <laughs> party! Number seven! Divorce! Divorce. <laughs> I just want to say, it's possible, huh? Hey, hey, hey. You want to play? Hey! You play? Come, 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 come. Come, on. come on! Ah! Five answers are on the board. Name a song that people might bang on when it's not working. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. I should have told you when you want to jiggle, they felt the jiggle very fast. <laughs> Let me see. Stand, please. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, huh? I ain't never seen nothing more beautiful. Than that. <laughs> you love my heart. Your eyes are like the stars. <laughs> I remember when I was crossing. Let me tell you. I remember when I was crossing the river. Across the water to Florida. And I looked at the stars. Your eyes look like those stars while I was in the water. Never seen that. Okay. That was in the water. Beautiful, sexy woman right here. Name something people bang on when it's not working. The car. The car! Let me see the car! You're beautiful and you're smart too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say your name before you're from, huh? I'm Charlene, daughter of missionary. Is it Charlene or Charlene? Because there's a difference, huh? Charlene. Charlene or Charlene? Charlene. It's spelled with a CH, but it's okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the computer. The computer! Let me see the computer! Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to answer? Come, stand. Uh, I'm Tina, the daughter of Anna Martinez. What do you mean? Uh, did you say phone? The phone! 
it's your phone. You bang on your phone when it doesn't work, huh? I bet you it's an iPhone, huh? Oh, I'm missing the phone. Stand, please stand. No, you stand. You stand, please. Come, come, stand. Johnny, Johnny. Are we here? Are we here? Okay. Let's please, let's look at the camera. That's nice, huh? Okay. Name or something that you might bang on when it doesn't work. She said the husband, huh? Hey, hey. You got a problem over there, huh? Or maybe it's a good day. Right? The car radio. The car radio. You know what? I banged on for many, many hours was the motor on the boat that was going all the way to Florida <laughs> after I swam. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're chasing him. Who wants to answer? Have you answered? Come, stand, stand, stand. Jermaine, please. Erica. And who are you here with, then? Angela. <laughs> what did you say? Erica. Erica, I'm so sorry. Go. Who are you here with? Danny and Irma. And somebody else, huh? Just pull them up. Who's that? Robert. You got problems over there, huh? <laughs> Name of something you bang on when it's not working. The straightener from her hair. <laughs> she got a chance to steal the points. I need an answer. Go, oh, stand. Please stand, please. It's too late, I'm already here. A vending machine? A vending machine. Are you ready? If you know the answer, you jiggle the bell, but don't do it like him because you did it too slow. You gotta do it fast. Name something children tend to lie about. If they got in trouble at school. If they got in trouble at school, that's a good answer. Good answer, huh? Good answer. Let me see. Get in trouble. I don't have kids, so I don't know. But you are a kid, huh? You like stealing. Stealing something. Let me see stealing. Do you want to be fast to play? Play, play, play. You gotta play. Here we go. Come. Cover, 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 cover. cover, cover. We've got two more questions still. The team with the most points after the these next two games will win the game. Okay? okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's no problem. We move on. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but you've got to go on. I need two more people. Do you want the same people to go or another opportunity for someone? You guys still need to go. I don't know. Do you want to go? Do you want to go, Steve? Come on, Steve. Steve, come on. Hey, come on. those points that were on you gotta take it easy, she's a small girl. <laughs> okay. Now this is the same thing, it's also six answers. Please put the belt, please put it. It's okay, you can practice this one. But you gotta do it fast. Yeah. Hey, you gotta teach them one thing, huh? Six answers, double the points. Name an invention that would have made your grandparents' life much easier.
Play, play, play. Come, come. Here. Microwave. A microwave. You guys are so excited. <laughs> <laughs> because I tell you what, when I was a kid, my mom wouldn't wash the dishes. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Come, come, come right here. The internet. <laughs> you guys got a chance to steal, huh? <laughs> <All right. laughs> air conditioner. <laughs> because you know, air condition is good, huh? Air condition. <laughs> you guys ready, huh? To steal the points. No help me. No help me. That's it. That's it. I need an answer. I need an answer. Color TV. TV. Oh! That was a good answer, huh? That was a good answer, huh? Number five. That's your chance to win the game, huh? Yay! Okay, let's see some number five, huh? GPS. GPS huh? Oh. They don't know where they are, huh? I need two more people last time. Hello? 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 Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? This question has three answers. It is triple the points. The winner, with the team who has the most points, will win the game. Here we go. Name an expense that gets much bigger with more kids. Food. Food. Is that a good answer? I think it's pretty good too. More mouths to feed, huh? I had 23 brothers and sisters, so I know. That's why we had a farm, we made our own food. <laughs> Let me see food. Yeah. You guys want to pass the play? Hey, hey, don't cry about it. You can't have a chance, okay? Okay, I'm coming over here to the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Vacation. Vacation, let me see vacation. You got one answer left. Come on, girls, I can do it. Electric bill. You can do it, girl. Electricity bill. <laughs> now, as, as everybody knows, you got five kids. You gotta know the answer, huh? I would say, like, education. Yes. Education. <laughs> Close. Close. Is this uh, two X's? <laughs> they got two X's. You guys got the chance to steal right now. Close. You have to go see that, that, uh, <laughs> That's money, bro. That's money. Way to play, guys. Way to play, huh? <laughs> okay. They threw it on purpose. Okay, listen. Okay, let me see why. I need a one. Church, show me church.
Yeah, baby graduation. <laughs> 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 baby graduation. <laughs> She just said graduation, any kind of graduation. Let me see graduation. Ah. I'm a little drunk now, huh? I hope anybody wants Let me see getting drunk. You guys have a chance, huh? The birth of a child. Let me see birth of a child. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. Six answers on the board, double the points. Name something a grandmother might want her grandkids to learn. To sing. To sing. They want to learn the grandkids to sing. Let me see sing. Another language. And she wants to faster play. To sew. To sew. To cook. Hey, we forgot the other people. Hey, hey. Oh. Okay, he's giving it to you. That's a good one. Raise your hand. You got five seconds. You want to learn manners, huh? Manners. That's the number one on the board, huh? You are good. You got an answer. You listen to me. I go where I want to go, huh? It's not going to be my wrestling, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they want to learn common sense. I'm sorry. Do you know what? But your grandma wants to show you that you never learned it. <laughs> Family traditions. Family traditions. We got one answer, huh? One. Okay, okay, a wife or mother. Okay, but you guys got a chance to come together. You guys have a chance, huh? But you guys want to? But you guys want to go with that, huh? To clean. Teach your kids, wrap right? yourself to clean. Okay, I will repeat the question, huh? Because when we do repeat it, I'll repeat it. Huh? <laughs> Name something a grandmother, a wedding, might want her grandkids to learn. You seem very confident, huh? Because if it's wrong, they're going to win this question. Okay, 
Hey, I need a, I need an answer pretty quick, huh? I need an answer pretty quick. She's gonna answer the question. She's confident, huh? I'm not sure. Okay, but just answer go ahead. Music. Let me see something with music. Let me see number two. One. The team who wins this game is going to win a play fast money. That's a big deal, huh? Here we go. I need one more person from each team to come to the middle. Come, Sarah, Sarah, come, 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 come. I need one more, come. Mary Alice. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. This question has three answers and it's three body points. Are you ready? Name a something specific you hope your kids do when they are guests at someone else's house. Yeah. Help, clean. Help to clean the house. Yeah. That's a good answer. You have one chance to... Okay. <laughs> okay, respect the elders of the house. Okay. You guys want to pass or play? They're going to play. Okay. Name something specific you hope your kids do when they are guests at someone else's house. Greet. Do we need to greet? What was that? Greet. Greet? Yeah. They say hello. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to answer? No X's on the board yet. Yes. Okay, greet. Say hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Greek something. Greek. 
She say dog or doll. Did you say dog or doll? Dog, pet, dog. Okay. Give everybody a round of applause. Woo! Come, come here, come here. You got that. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Let's see how you did. Don't be afraid. It's okay. You did a good job. She did a good job, huh? That's a lot of pressure, huh? Come on. If you had a robot to do just one job around the house, which chore would it be? You said cleaning. Do we need something more specific or are we good? Cleaning. Not including a person. Name a some name something a child might talk to. You said dog. How many points? 31! Name a place children are sent when they misbehave. You said corner. She said corner, huh? Time out corner. Let me see time out. Name something you use an excuse to get out of. You said homework. Survey says? Very good. Okay. I need the... She's, he's going to. I need, I need to answer. Yeah, because it's a understandable question. Okay. Now, now she got you 137 points. All you need is 63 points to get to 200. You ready? You ready to play fast? 
money to win some cash. I need you to make sure you look that way. We're going to remind the audience of, the, of her answers. Here we go. You ready? The time will start as soon as I'm done reading the first question. Muscle metals. Ready? Huh? Muscle metals. Muscle metals. Yeah. <laughs> Name something many dads teach their children how to do. Oh, I'm talking. Okay. Uh, 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 drive a car. Drive a car. If you had a robot to do just one job around the house, which chore would it be? Wash dishes. Not including a person. Name something a child might talk to. A doll. Name a place children are sent when they misbehave. Find out. <laughs> <laughs> Name a place children are sent when they misbehave. Their room. Name something you use an excuse to get out of. What? <laughs> Sorry, we're going to give it to you because... Name something you use an excuse to get out of. Oh, as an excuse, uh, 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 because... Not, not the excuse, something you would use an excuse for, so you don't have to do it. Uh, homework. Homework. Uh, church. Church. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's important we just come and lay hands right now. Listen. I'm disappointed. You lost your accent. I'm disappointed. I know I lost it all. I'm about to take off the wig, too. Okay. All right. That was good. You did a good job. She did a good job, huh? Now you got 137 points already. You need 200 points. Here we go. First question I asked you was name something many dads teach their children how to do. You said drive a car. Survey says. Name, the, and I ask you, if you had a robot to do just one job around the house, which chore would it be? You said, wash dishes. So everybody says? Uh, what she said. Cleaning. I guess it was a different kind of thing. I don't know, I don't have it here. Not in, this isn't the real thing, okay? <laughs> Hey, little boy, get away! I love you, boy. All right, not including a person, name it something a child might talk to. You said doll, right? Sorry, is that? Not name a place children are sent. Dog. Alright, I asked you, name a place children are sent when they misbehave. You said bedroom. The room. The room. The room. You only need 13 points. So everybody says? Oh. Oh. Are you serious? Name something you use an excuse to get out of. Now, hopefully, hopefully, there were six people who are as big a sinner as you. I mean, I know, I know there's, I know there's going to be at least six people who go to hell. So. You said church. Survey says.
He lives in Houston and he just spurs things. Hey, can you guys get yourselves a uh, soft, a kickball team there's, there's together? A, there's a smudge on your camera. There is? Yeah, yeah man. Oh, man. Good like that. <laughs> video. Let me see your tiger face. Cool. Let me see how you, how does tiger sound. Wow. And who's this? Muchas gracias, hermano. Double play.
beauty is te vengo a decir te vengo a
Yes, there's some alpha sags. I'm a 